9.15 on a Friday. Yeah. We're at Animal Kingdom? Yeah, I took the day off. Woohoo! <laughs> the weekend has begun. We're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge tonight just for one night. So yes, we are staying one night at Animal Kingdom Lodge tonight. In a one bedroom. We're hoping Jumbo to... Jumbo House? Yes, we're hoping they're going to room early, but we don't know. But we said decided, hey, Let's embrace the vibes. Let's get in the Animal Kingdom since I'm taking the day off as early as possible just to kind of do whatever we want. Beat the heat and basically head over to Animal Kingdom launch fairly soon. It just was like... Every island travels. In moments, the sky will come alive. Birds are coming. As a variety in the wild. Welcome to Wind. Good morning, adventurers here in Discovery Island. Gather around, friends. You are here just in time for winged encounters. <gasps> here they come, look. Keep your eyes to the sky, friends. Don't forget to stay behind, really. They're here at the roots of the tree of life. Oh, we have Pluto and the Cosmos. Howard. 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 And another critically endangered species as well. Absolutely incredible. In a turn of events, Teddy fell asleep right as we were parking the stroller. So, um, it's better for Sarah to rest and be in AC, and I want her to anyway, to enjoy the show with James. But um, the priority today is the resort and to make sure that it's most enjoyable and, and relaxing for everybody. So that it's not, it wasn't like the risk of waking Teddy up um, to like pick him up and try to hold him in and enjoy the show while holding him while keeping him asleep. So I'm gonna take Teddy to the shops in the front of the park because we only wanted to kind of stop in the Animal Kingdom for a few hours since we're gonna be at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We thought we'll go there, enjoy some stuff, probably get really hot and sweaty and then it'll be perfect recipe to go to the lodge and if our room's not ready, which it probably won't be, because check-in's four, that we can just get changed and go swimming at that resort until the room's ready. It'll be perfect. They have a Jamesy mommy date for Nina. And a yellow tail. But here's another colorful fact. 
Green or blue tags can also change their shape to warn others about danger. <laughs> I really do love that. I really, really do. It's, it's like something unique to Animal Kingdom, but I came this way to keep my baby asleep. Nemo! Dad! Dad! It's time for school! All right, we're excited. It's your first day of school, Nemo. We are ready to learn. Just like figure eighting in the shop. And look, Kevin's out. Kevin, yes. We dodge out of the park. It's time to head to the resort. Our room isn't ready. <gasps> Hello, Daisy. <laughs> we had to show you our sick spot. We've been burnt the past couple times with parking. Look how close we were to being burned on this one. Yeah, we were very close, but look at this spot. But look at this spot. It's like noonish. We're gonna go get some lunch and maybe our room will be ready soon. <gasps> We're just exploring the lobby. This may be the first time. We realized it's the first time since we moved here that we were at Animal Kingdom. But I'm wondering if this is the first time Teddy's ever been to Jumbo House. I think he went to Kidani once. Our room is not ready yet, but we did tell the front desk that we're here. So we're just exploring. We're gonna get some food at the Mara once Sarah and James come back from wherever they adventured off to. And Teddy's stretching his feet. Ooh, an African folktale. Tiger, zebra, gorilla. What do you got, Teddy? Oh, oh my gosh. Teddy is our animal, our animal guy. <laughs> Are you happy? Daddy. What floor are we? Fifth floor, we're near the ostrich trail. I just can't tell. So we're near the front lane. Our room is ready. Perfect timing. We're gonna eat lunch, go up to the room, Relax. chill. Hit up the pool after the hottest part of the day. We're gonna watch Stacy. 
Tracy. She's gone. She's a bad one. Yummy. We got french fries. We got pulled pork. They look a little different than the last time we got them, so I'm a little bit weary. I'm going to put the clip in of the last time we got it here. Pulled pork. It has coleslaw on top with french fries. And Peter got the falafel platter. Peter hooked it up with the dipping station. Thank you. I will always give you all the dips. Thanks. It was a part of our vows. It really was. <laughs> it really wasn't, but... If we wrote our own vows, it definitely would be. Yeah, this pulled pork sandwich is the best thing I've ever eaten at Disney World. <laughs> it's truly, it's truly, truly it's for so fast good. food. It's tamari barbecue. I'd get that over Casey's Corner any day of the week. Wow. Peter's going to order one for himself right now. I just ordered it. <laughs> but I haven't tasted it yet to know. And then the boys got pizza. Peter got a little angry orchard. I got a pop. And the star of the show. Zebra domes. Actually, this is the star of the show. My dipping station. Guys, I've only seen a small portion of her of a woman at the water. Alex and I have considered a value. This is a value one bedroom. John Balls. We got an island! Wow! An island. And look at this view. What are you talking about? This is a value. We got a safari view! Safari or Savannah? <laughs> We're never leaving our room. Wow, it's it's one of these. Welcome, Brookhart Family Disney 100. This is new, the story of Disney 100 years. DVC is pleased to present this insightful book as a special interim money. If you'd like to purchase a copy, they're for sale directly at merchandise shops. I'm going to read this whole thing tonight. <gasps> Look at Walt. His name's Walter, actually. <gasps> Look at Oh, that's mommy's pop. All right, I love these about the one bedroom. Like when this was built, this was like, I still think this is the vibe for a lot of the one bedrooms where they have like a nook now. I think the Grand Floridians have them and stuff like that. But look at this kitchen, love the island. Love, this is what I like, I don't, you don't see this all the time with the other DVCs where they had incorporate characters into the tile work, which I haven't checked out the bathroom yet, but I'm hoping I already see it. Bathroom. Water closet, but this right here, the Lion King tiles in the, whatever they're called. You got a fancy tub, like you used to have at your mom's house, with suds, jets. Wow, how's my hair? Crazy. <laughs> and then our one bedroom. Bye-bye. This is nice, this is nice, and then the balcony connects. But like, the Lion King featurette, Right there, it's great. It's kind of weird. These are just like a floating armoire, but hey, I dig it. You know, I do think it's a, it's like ever so slightly smaller than other one bedrooms. The bedroom itself. I think the space even is slightly smaller than other one bedrooms. But come on, this is huge. I think it was at least twenty points. I'll take a peek. Yeah, but we might see some animals out here later. And that's Kadani, I think, over there. Yeah, that's Kadani. And Civilization. This is great. This is great. So I'm just, you know, enjoying the rooms, the space, and I walk in here. And these two little relaxing chickens. Cozy in the bed. Watching some Mickey cartoons. <laughs> okay. King Monica said he didn't want to relax with all of us together. And I saw this, Disney 100, celebrating 100 years of Disney stories. Like, listen. Wow. <sighs> Just drink all the Kool-Aid, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I missed that meet and greet. <gasps> yeah, Tink. <laughs> you got shoes? Yeah, put those away, please. 
Thank you. Wow. That'll get you. I got goosebumps all over. I promise you. If you need us, we're here for you. Always. <laughs> <laughs> You got the garbage can now? Doing some cleaning? Thank you. Oh, that was 44 minutes. It's 44 seconds. Dip dip. So Teddy is definitely a toddler. He's understanding the world a lot more. Dip dip. He was convinced it was best for him to eat the zebra dome just like full palm. He was very sad. We finally Try to bite, had the fork work out. He's hooked. So when he gave in to the fork and he realized that it worked out just fine, he's a happy guy. I love this. It's got obviously got some vibes to Wilderness Lodge, but it is different. I love that on this floor we have the bridge. I'll go on the bridge later, but I have to go get the bags from the car because we didn't want to bring them in earlier when we didn't know when the room was going to be ready. Though I would say, I don't think there's stairs in the lobby going down like there are at Wilderness Lodge. Because Wilderness Lodge is the best, but this is absolutely stunning. I like the architecture, the design, look at that. The rafters up there. Love it. Got swimmy diapers, apples, and milk for the babe, and a new reusable bag. All right, so the theme of this day was relaxing. The theme of this day was one night, he must say it was not over the top. We've been hanging out with James, just mom, dad, and Jamesy time while Teddy was napping in the bedroom. He just woke up. Well, I got some of this because he needed an apple because he woke up and signed more. I said, are you hungry? He goes, apple. Maybe I don't have milk or an apple for you right now. Anyway, I'll go down to the lobby, to the gift shop, and there's a bunch of families. It's five o'clock in their costumes, getting ready to go to Magic Kingdom because tonight's the first Mickey's Not So Scary. And I want to go. We haven't figured out when we're going yet and we need to do that. And I want it to be right now, but it's very hot. So I'm actually kind of glad. I was talking to a dad and daughter, they were Peter Pan and Wendy, was, or Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, so cute. And the dad was like, I don't know how I feel about these pants and sleeves with the weather tonight, but they're gonna have fun. Arcade, I want to let you guys know that we swam for probably like 40 minutes, but it was kind of crazy because though the sun was down, it's very, it's very hot here in Florida, and the water was very warm, and I don't think the kids were all about it. Teddy, we got him in a, a, a an extra small vest. It's still big on him, but we want to get him, rather than what we did, like we didn't do much with James to like prepare for, for getting into say like a flotation vest, whatever those are called. Um, but we got Teddy in one, he didn't fight it, and he was bobbing around a little bit with our help. Doesn't know to like hold his core up, but good start. We're gonna get that practicing, so when he does fill one out properly, he'll be ready to go. And then, um, it won't, oh, the water was just hot, the boys kept on, he's like, run in, run out, run in. It's a lot of fun, but then all of a sudden, James was like, kind of like, I'm over this, and I wanna walk around. And we went to go change, and they found the arcade. So that's where we're hanging out right now. Our adventure at the pool ends with another helping of the Mara. It's my quick service. Yeah, I got like a bowl I've never had before. So did I got a vegetable bowl, you got a chicken bowl. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna be honest, the pulled pork from earlier today yeah. was a was a solid bean. It was good. It was good, but like I'm gonna the clip will be in there where like Peter literally like had ordered a meal, took a taste of mine, and went and ordered one. Like it was that, that good, yeah. Good. And it was less like 
about the sauce and more about like what it was like marinated in. Yeah. And I it think, was on like a longer roll. I think today's pulled pork would be really delicious if we never had the other pulled right. pork. If that wasn't what we were like thinking. Expecting and hoping for. Right. Yeah. But it was still a good beef. Yeah. And the Mara is probably one of my like top three Disney quick services. Like mm -hmm. Truly. I'd, I'd agree with that. Definitely statement. resort. Yeah. Um, so, so Casey, so I'm excited for this. Two of my favorite things when we first got checked in and saw we were fifth floor. One, I really hoped for not a parking lot view and that we got a safari view, but also this bridge. So we're going to take the scenic route around the fifth floor to go walk across this bridge to check it out because it's cool. Oh, Maasai Bridge. It's named. Wow, I love coming up here and taking a photo. Remember we did that, that last time we were here for hot, like Christmas time? Yeah. The tree's over here and you... James, he was tiny. Tiny baby. We haven't even gone out there. No. Oh, there's zebras. Zebras are out. We should eat and then go. We should eat, get ourselves in dry clothes because we're not in dry clothes. Yeah, okay. And then we'll come out. And then it'll be like, like there's a lot of animals and I feel like it's because it's dusk. And we gotta go to our room. We'll probably see this from our room balcony. What are you talking about? Can, I feel like ours is in a different Oh, place. yeah, like so that's a building. So like our room does have a view, but it's called like the ostrich trail. Trail. And so I don't think like all the animals have access to it. I think it's mostly ostrich. Well, maybe they're, those are out to play. Here's my oak fired chicken bowl. There's like- There's a giraffe over there. You can see it? Yeah. We're having some chicken strips, some cuties. Here's Peter's veggie bowl. Pretty good. Yeah, and really good portions. Hey, right, we're on the balcony because there's a giraffe right there. A couple giraffes by those trees. Some ostrich over there. This is just great. And the boys are mesmerized. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah, they're uh -huh. eating. It's a giraffe. They're eating. Eat. 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 They're eating. Eat. 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 Yeah. Okay, gorgeous sunset, James. Is, he's, it's just, it's just uh, Dad and James sunset. We saw the craziest thing while we were on the FaceTime with Christina. That ostrich chased away three giraffes. It was like, get out of here. These are my snacks. So that giraffe was like, you know, I'm not leaving yet. I'm gonna get some water. Hey, what's up? Why do you got the car keys, babe? We're staying the night. Guys, things are getting wild over here. And I didn't even use that as a joke, but things <laughs> are. We now have some zebras coming in, encroaching in some, some, um, no, the zebras are encroaching in the, the buff, not the buffalo, something over there. And then we got <laughs> Ancoli cattle. Yeah, the wildebeest. And, and two Ancoli cattle are making their way over here, just graze around with their big old horns. James, he wants to go to Magic Kingdom. He just got the keys. Yeah, I put on Happy Ever After and he said, car, bye. Okay, check this out. We got some giraffe coming up on some Ancoli cattle. We basically have our own safari right here. Right. See, this is incredible. Because the safari earlier today was 45 minute wait. We didn't do it, and also, you're not supposed to go on if you're expecting. Yes. And so, yeah, we did have to. Perfect. Perfect. Go. These silly brothers flying together. Guys, for real. <laughs> so cool that they play together. Hi, pumpkin. Here come the zebra. I wonder if we're like we're not in the main savanna, and I wonder if they're like coming this way for good night. Bye-bye, baby. Ma. Ma. Bye-bye. Come on. Ma. 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 Ma
hot. Yeah. Hear the clinking, clanking. You got family down there in rocking chairs. You can hear Boma. You can hear families on vacation checking in. It's just gorgeous. I'm going downstairs to fill up some water. And they got a little bit more pop, a little sprite action. I'm just loving this vibe. I'm gonna try to come out in like the middle of the night to see it just all empty and quiet. But I also love this right here. Just the sweet, magical hustle and bustle noises of Walt Disney World vacations all around us. Here's the, here's the hack. Ted. Here's the hack that Sarah and I are not gonna do because tired, exhaustion, we wanna enjoy every second in this room and the babies are ready for sleep. It's, it's 8.25. I was going to go crazy and hop, run downstairs to the bus with just James and bring him to Magic Kingdom to see the fireworks. I went to go. He was all jazzed. He saw the fireworks on the TV and grabbed the car keys and was like, let's go. I looked on MDX and they didn't, there was no show times. I'm like, that's so weird. And so I was like, tonight's the first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Then I devised a plan that was so brilliant that you are all going to be jealous you didn't see this live and jump in the bus, a car, or van, or boat over. We're staying DVC, which means we can go to the Top of the World Lounge hyphen a villain's lair, whatever it's called now since it's been reopened. And you can see the beautiful fireworks from there. And it's at 10.15 tonight. Not so scary Halloween party. Special ticket event, special fireworks, perimeter. And we could, if we wanted to, hop in a bus to Magic Kingdom, walk over to Bay Lake, and show our, our DVC card and bump our Magic Band for this reservation and could go up there and hang out and check out the new vibes and stuff up there and then watch the fireworks show Jack Skellington's hosting and it's like Minnie Mouse's show or something and enjoy it but that's just such like a trek there it's not till 10.15 which means it's not over until like 10.40 which means we're starting eventually we'd have to walk back to Magic Kingdom to get a bus back here we wouldn't get home till probably a little because like, that would basically, we wouldn't get home till like 11, back to our room until like uh, 11 and 11.30, which means we wouldn't be relaxed in our comfy clothes, cooled off from sweating, and trying to put the kids on until after midnight. So, we are doing it, but doesn't that sound great? So I come out from putting Daddy down, and this is what I find. <laughs> it's good to be home. Good morning. Good morning. Sarah deceived all of us. And brought super cute clothes for the kids to wear. All in hopes of trying to get Sana breakfast. <laughs> so we are walking from Jambo House to Gadani Village this morning. Yes. In I attempts just... to walk up. So. Yes, we don't have a reservation. I There's just none available. saw on Instagram, I don't know if you followed the Lost Bros, Cody T was here. And I just trust his food. Opinions, and he yeah. just says that like this is one of his favorites, yeah. and all the options look awesome, and worth a shot. Yeah. And shout out to that statement because it's it's hard to find people you can trust their foodiness on in the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't, not that we're like. Can you guys trust us? <laughs> not that we um, have like tried all the things that Cody suggests, but yeah. we've never been steered wrong. So wish us luck. And a little walking path from Jumbo to Kidani. It's pretty, pretty easy, pretty clear. Easy so we thought, why not? Are you excited? Hi. Good morning. I just went downstairs all nervous being like, are you, are you doing reservations? And they're like, no, it's quick casual. You order at the bar and then you just go sit at a table. So, that works out great for us. That little giraffe is our table marker. He's, he's sharing Jamesy's croissant. Teddy's starting with a banana. Oh my, look at that bird's giving itself a bath this morning. What? That's bigger than you, babe. Say hi. Oh, the birdie spotted you. Look like at Pelican in the back there doing a weird dance. 
So cool. Oh, there's a customer over there getting some, some breakfast out for the animals. How fun is this? I love that actually, the lokiness of it being just a quick, casual service. Let you pick your spot. We're here pretty early, I think, so there's plenty of options. And so we're in Kidani Village. Our room is not there, but it's like that way. And I'm fairly certain this is the same Savannah that leads to ours. Um, I just spent the last like 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like 10, 10. Just chilling on the bed watching Can't Miss Magic because it's very magical. With this view here. And Teddy came in and snuggled with me for a little bit. Oh, he came back. But we have to get ready to go home to Evie Girl. I know you're ready for a nap. He puts his hand on his head when he's ready for a nap. Whoa. All we left. cleaned up. Let's now we're, go home. We're schlepping our stuff now. <laughs> it's the perfect word. Schlep. One last view of the lobby. We're like, we're we're a little emotional. It was such a good, a good little say. James was not feeling the Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice life the other day. What silly me, I do realize he's sophisticated. I needed to chop up the donut and let him eat it with a fork. Many hours later, James came with me to do a little Aldi shop. Uh, Sarah might have more information on that later because she found like a TikTok, like five recipes with this short list. But we picked up these soft blocks from Aldi. They were 15 bucks for a whole bunch of them. And I love them because they're like, like, like global guts or like some kind of old 90s Nickelodeon show where like, they don't hurt if like one gets tossed. <laughs> Boom, we spent like 45 minutes earlier as a whole family, Teddy, Sarah, James, Evie, Peter, chucking all the blocks at each other, having so much fun. So we, after all the fun of yesterday and everything, we wanted to do like, get a lot of stuff done today. So, um, we got grocery shopping, Sarah's putting Teddy down for a nap now. Uh, we gotta figure out what time we're gonna live stream today. I'm cooking up like a stir fry vegetable stuff, so I just have a bunch of the vegetables that we didn't want to go to waste with last week's groceries. I have Brussels sprouts, uh, orange pepper, red pepper, um, some zucchini, and then just like season that up, a little bit of vegetable stock, um, some onion, some garlic, salt, pepper. I'm about to put some of like stir fry sauce in there, and we had this pouch of like teriyaki tofu. Cubes that, um, that just need to be heated up so that's going to go in there last so it doesn't crumble kind of a thing because we don't give a like it's not something to fry up right or I'm not going to cook it that way at least um, and then I got basmati rice going so that's coming together got some music going going to get a salad ready chop up just like cucumber tomato lettuce and let Sarah zhuzh it up the way she zhuzh it up and have a good little dinner Here's our dinner with tofu, veggies, rice. Made a little citrus ginger salad situation. Thank you for cooking, Peter. Come on. Goodbye. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> he doesn't like them. Oh, maybe he do. Oh no, my son has turned into Nosferatu. We're supposed to go take baths, but Jamesy actually demanded prep a night. We're conflicted with our seasons. We'll <laughs> <laughs> take Christmas all the time, right? Right. We can't have Christmas movies on a Saturday without cookies, and so I came here to get butter cookies. And look, Hershey King Size Bars. Bogo. What?
Mom said right before I went, I said, it's Saturday night. Do we have bath time or do we party? And we said we party. And then Sarah goes, I thought I had butter cookies on the list. And I said, I'll be right back. I said, hold my beer. Not really. I was like, you know the saying of the meme? And I went and got cookies and flowers. And then Christmas came. Wow. Happy Saturday. Wait, Teddy needs one. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>